Hi guys. This week for Fan Choice Friday, we'll be working on this moon through tree branches, as suggested by Gylene Peebles and Miss 50 Plus. I really like the way this turned out, and if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. First things first, you want to start out with a base coat on clean, dry nails. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel-off base coat and you can use whichever you prefer. Next, I'll be prepping around my nails with Simply Peel, which is a latex barrier. You can use whichever kind of barrier you prefer, or if you don't mind some cleanup, you can skip this step. To create the gradient, I'm just gonna be using a makeup wedge, and all these colors are Zoya. The black is called Willa, this dark purple is called Pinta. This red is Livingston. And this orange is called Paz. And pretty standard gradient. Probably end up doing two or three coats. And remove the Simply Peel after the final coat. Just going to clean up around the edges where the latex did not protect using a flat brush and some polish remover. For the moon, I'm going to be using a watercolor technique. So I've got a little bit of white acrylic paint that I added just a little bit of yellow to. And now, I'm not sure if it's showing on camera, I'm just using my brush to drop in some water to mix it up and really thin it out quite a bit. And I've got a couple, well, maybe just one, maybe two. I've used this technique before. I'm hoping it'll work out to make a cool moon. I'm going to be making the moon kind of across my ring finger and my middle finger. So kind of just line them up and make a circular shape and fill it in. Then you want to let it set for a few seconds. After it sets a little bit, it ran a little bit into my cuticle on my ring finger, but you can kind of use a dry brush or like a napkin to sop up some of the water and it will leave behind kind of a ghost of the acrylic. So I'm going to repeat that a couple times just to kind of make it transparent and kind of textury, trying to create a pattern of like moon craters and hope that it works out. Finally, I've put out some black acrylic and I've got a long striper brush and I'm going to be adding the branches mainly coming up like the tree is planted 
kind of below where the moon is, if that makes sense. So picture the trunk of the tree kind of in this area. So the branches are going to be reaching up and coming onto all the nails. And I'm just going to try and make it kind of eerie and creepy and put some branches on each nail. Make sure the acrylic paint is dry so that it doesn't smear when you add your top coat. As usual, I'm going to be using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure and I think this may be my favorite fan choice of the month so far. I really like the way the gradient came out and I really like the way the moon came out even though of course a full moon would never be seen against the sunset because the full moon is rising on the other side of the sky but you know that's just a little bit of artistic license so I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments be sure to subscribe for a few more Halloween designs including a double feature next Friday. I'll be posting the water marble pumpkins as well as a fall colors drip marble. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and as always, thanks for watching.